Hey, what's up, guys? It's Vanu here from Android.com. So, I'm here at the Marriott Hotel uh, down south. I thought of doing a little interesting video for you guys. Um, so, I came on a little holiday vacation trip. What I did was I actually brought my PlayStation with me. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my routine for that, how I packed the PlayStation, got everything done. I actually ordered a bag, special bag for the PlayStation to carry it. But unfortunately, it didn't arrive on time. Uh, there were there were some issues at the customs. I think it's still stuck there. So um, I should be there when, when I get home. But for this video, somehow to make this, and I wanted to get this because I'm on this, um, uh, you know, journey for about a week and a half. So I want to make sure that uh, I can, you know, play my games whenever I want, uh, maybe in the night when I just want to cool down. So because of that, I brought the PlayStation and I want to share this one with you guys as well. So without wasting any more time, let me show you how it's going to go. So no matter where you go, the first thing is you need to make sure that that particular place has a good TV with a HDMI port, right? Uh, and make sure that you carry HDMI cable as well. So the uh, thing that I wanted to do was, I wanted to make sure that uh, the PlayStation will always be safe. So because of that, I brought this. So this is a UPS. Yes, I actually brought this to a hotel uh, just to make sure that nothing will go wrong with my... Um, PlayStation it can never be too safe. So I brought this. I can go ahead and plug this uh, to the wall just like that. And then here I have the PlayStation in this box. So I decided to put the PlayStation on into its original box. So here I have what PS5 in the original box. I've just repacked it. Um, so I can go ahead and keep it over here and I guess I can start to unbox it once again but I haven't really done much. I've put one controller, one USB Type-C cable, then I have the stand and the power cord. All of that is here and then to make sure that I can uh, put the screw in, I also brought a screwdriver along with me. So all of that is here in this top pouch. I can move that to the side. And then we have the PS5 here. I can go ahead and take it out. Just like this, I've nicely wrapped it in the original uh, material that came with the PS5 itself. So I can put this back. And here I have the PS5 nicely packed. I can just put this back in so when I want to take it back, I have this. So now I have to go ahead and place the PS5 just like this, right? So I first um, screw this in. I have to get the stand. So I have the stand right over here. I'm going to take this and take the screwdriver. And I can actually go ahead and keep this. that and then put the screw in and set that up so just like that the ps5 is now ready with the stand so now what i have to do is i can go ahead and take the power cord and the controller i actually brought another controller this is just one i have it in the other bag so I can go ahead and plug the power cord here and then I can go ahead and plug this to the back of this. And then the other thing you have to do is uh, now with the TV now here in the Marriott Hotel there's a good TV I think this is a 55 inch TV. Um, so if you look at the back of this TV you can find the uh, HDMI ports and all of that. So make sure that you carry uh, HDMI cable as well, which I have done. I have brought uh, HDMI cable, so I can go ahead and connect that to the PS5 over here. And then 
uh, connect the PS5 to the UPS and start gaming through this. I've actually bought, brought a slightly longer HDMI cable just in case I want to keep the PS5. I, I just assumed that uh, if if I wanted to keep the PS5 in a different place, not next to the TV, maybe if this particular place didn't have a proper stand or something for me to keep, then that would be a problem, right? So because of that, I brought an extra long HDMI cable just in case uh, to be on the safe side. So let me quickly find my HDMI cable and connect it and turn on the TV. So here I have uh, the HDMI cable that I brought. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to the back of the PS5, right like this. And then I can take this slightly tangled. So let me clear this mess out. Just like that. Now the HDMI cable is there. I can go ahead and plug this to the back of the TV, actually to the side of the TV, and put this TV back to its original place and not damage it at all. I want to make sure that it stays. And also, I brought my Sony headphones. This is the Sony WH1000 Mark. Force the awesome noise cancelling headphones. Even though I have the Pulse 3D for the PlayStation 5, I thought of bringing this simply because this has this case and I can use this um, cable to plug it to the controller and you know uh, play some games if I want to. But I most of the time I don't think I'll be using headphones, but just in case I want, I have the facility. So that's great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to the back. Now I'm assuming everything is okay so we can go ahead and try to turn it on. Hitting the power button. Seems like there is no power. Actually the problem was uh, with that charging point over there. So I connected it to this plug point and now the UPS is on and I've connected the PS5 to that. HDMI cable is plugged in. So let me go ahead and turn on the PS5 using the controller. And just like that, as you heard, you can see the lights of the PS5 turning on. It's connected to the TV. And now we are going to go with this. So let me try to find the remote of this TV. I don't know where it is. Um, luckily, with the uh, HDMI identification on the PS5, it was automatically able to switch it. So here we have the PS5 running at my hotel room TV. So I can use this to play whatever games I want. I actually brought a couple of games as well. So here I have a couple of games that I just brought to play um, during this vacation. So I have the latest cricket game that I literally got yesterday. Mortal Kombat is there, Call of Duty Vanguard, F1 2021. So these are all multiplayer games that I enjoy can enjoy um, while I'm here. And uh, I'm actually glad that they have a great TV here uh, so that uh, I can uh, enjoy my stay, relax and uh, play some games as well. So that's pretty nice. I have this controller and another controller for the games. And uh, yeah, I think that that's it for the setup. I think I have uh, everything covered. But I'll make an updated video once I get that bag uh, cleared from the customs. Once I have it in my hands, I will bring that video to you guys on uh, my process of traveling with that official bag but this video is all about using the original box to take the playstation around no matter where you go i strongly recommend you to take the ups as well if possible but if you're traveling abroad and all of that i don't think that will be possible but then you might have to make an investment uh, to get one of those uh, just to be on the safe side so yeah guys let me know what you guys think share this video with a friend who likes to travel quite a lot who has a playstation but wants to take it out and maybe they can try it out this way so so guys with that i hope you guys enjoyed this video smash that subscribe button right now hit on that like button if you enjoyed this video definitely check out gaming with android Auto for more awesome gaming content just like this one and stay tuned to my original youtube channel android dollar for more awesome tech videos just like this in the future until i see you guys in my next video this is bound signing out now i'm gonna go and relax and enjoy my vacation